Today we're going to discuss the tragic tale of Nancy Barton in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. For centuries now, people have been hearing screams, moans, crying in the middle of the White Mountains, and it all leads back to Nancy. This story will go back into time when Nancy was 16 years old, working for Colonel Whipple as a servant girl. It was there where she became smitten with a young fellow named Jim Swindell and told everyone around her that they had the same morals and same interests. Later than sooner, Jim eventually proposed. Nancy was absolutely thrilled, so they started looking at places to live around Portsmouth, New Hampshire. After this, they got married. Or did they? This is where Nancy became a little too trusting, gave Jim all of her assets, including all of her life savings. While Nancy was planning the relocation to Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Jim and the Colonel started to plot against her. The Colonel heavily supported the American colonies during the Revolutionary War and convinced Jim to leave Nancy and Jefferson with all of her life savings. It was said that Jim spent Nancy's entire life savings on a new colonist uniform. Upon hearing rumors that her lover betrayed her, she quickly headed back to Jefferson. Once confirming that these rumors were true, she set off on foot in hot pursuit. She was more than confident that Jim couldn't have gotten that far. All of her neighbors begged her not to go. According to accounts from her neighbors, she was completely adamant on going. She said that it was going to be short. She was going to confront Jim and then bring him back home. Nancy ended up packing a small bag with clothes and no food and headed down the trail 30 miles in conditions that were unbelievable. After hiking 20 miles in severe snowy weather, Nancy eventually found remnants of a fire that she believed to be Jim's and the Colonel's. She stopped for a while, feeling cold, tired, and helpless, but she ended up pushing on, determined to find Jim. Nancy's neighbors increasingly became worried, so they gathered up a search party to find her before it was too late. Sadly, Nancy's strength gave out, and she sunk beside the road to never rise again. When Jim found out the nature of Nancy's death, he went mad with remorse and spiraled into depression. He soon died afterwards, not long after her. To this day, there's been reports of people hearing groaning and screaming on a really cold winter's night. I hope you guys enjoyed something a little bit new, a little bit different, and rest in peace to Nancy. If you guys would like similar content to this, but just on a longer scale, please let me know, and maybe give some suggestions. I'd be more than interested to see what you guys are thinking. This video was very different, but a lot of fun, and I can't wait to get you guys some more. And if you're going to chase a faithless lover in a snowstorm of all things, make sure you bring some snowshoes. Stay safe out there.